Okay, so next question I have is for 2013, question 3E. So I'm asked, how many moles of HCl were neutralized in the reaction? In the question, I'm told a reaction vessel of negligible heat capacity held 75 centimeters cubed of one molar HCl. So my number of moles is volume by molarity all over a thousand. The volume in the question is 75. The molarity is 1.0 divided by a thousand gives you 0 0.075 moles. You could also do it another way where 1.0 molarity means 1.0 moles in a thousand. So I'm looking for 75. So I multiply by what I know. I divide by the bit left over and again 0 0.075 moles. Next, then we're asked to calculate the heat produced in the reaction as a result of the HCl um, with the NaOH. And when I'm looking for the heat produced, I have mc delta theta. Delta theta is my heat change, okay, my change in temperature. And I'm told that the highest temperature was 20.9 and that a graduated cylinder was used and that my HCl measured 13.0, okay, and my NaOH um, was 15.0. So what I have to do, this is my end temperature, but I have to work out my start temperature. And because I have two values, I need to find the average. So I have, again, as I said, 15.0 as my NaOH, 13.0 as my HCl, and I have to divide that by 2. So I have to get the average here first. So that's 20.9. The average, 15 plus 13 is 28, divided by 2. So that gives me 14.0. So my temperature change is 6.9 Kelvin. C I'm given in the question, I am taking the density and specific heat capacity. Specific heat capacity is C and I'm told that is 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And finally then mass and it is the mass of my total solution. So I have MDV, monkeys drink vodka, okay if we remember back. So I am looking here for mass so it's equal to density by volume. I'm told in the question that the density of water is 1.0. So I multiply that then by my volume and it is the total volume of both my solutions. So I'm told I have 75 centimeters cubed of my acid and of my base. So it is 1.0 multiplied by 150, which gives me 150 grams. Now, just if we look at my kilogram, or this is kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin, because my specific heat capacity is measured in kilograms, I also need to change this into kilograms. So it gives me 0 0.15 kg. So what I do now is I fill in. So I have 0 0.15 for M multiplied by C, which is 4.2, and delta theta which is 6.9. And using the calculator then for that, I end up with a specific heat capacity and my computer appears to have frozen for my calculator. Um, so 4.347, okay? So that's what we get when we look at that. The final then thing that you're asked is calculate the heat of reaction for the neutralization reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. When we talk about heat of neutralization, it is always when we have one mole of a substance produced. Okay. But in this question, I don't have one mole. Okay, so that is what I'm looking to find out. I have worked out that 4.347 moles is produced, but that only relates to 0 0.075 moles. Okay, so I need to find out what one mole will give me. So I multiply 4.347 and I multiply it. 
so it is 4.347. And I multiply that by 1 and I divide it by 0 0.075 and that gives me 57.96 and that is kilojoules per mole. Now, heat of neutralization, always exothermic, so you have to put in the minus sign. And just make sure as well, it is when 1 mole of H plus ions, so it's HCl goes to H plus. So because it is one mole of HCl, that also means it is one mole of H plus ions. So my answer, minus 57.96 kilojoules per mole of H plus ions.